and welcome to Essence. My name's Alison and today I'm going to be taking you through one of our branding tools. This tool we call the Brand Pyramid and it takes you through a process that helps you develop your brand essence. Now the first part of this process is to actually look at the attributes of your business, your service, your product. One of the things that we ask you to look at is what are the actual tangible things that form your business? What are the things that contribute to your brand? They are things that you might consider to be your locations, your staff, your resources, your systems, your processes, all the things that actually add up to become your brand. The second part of this process is actually looking at the functional benefits of what you deliver. You might have heard us talk previously in other parts of our business around the functional versus the emotional benefits of your work. This is actually looking at what are the actual things that you deliver. You're a hair salon, you cut hair. You're Nike, you provide running shoes and clothing. You actually look at the functional and rational benefits of your business. The third part of this process is actually looking at the emotional rewards that your product or service delivers. Now this is the part that our clients probably spent the most amount of time thinking about. It's really clear about what you deliver from a functional point of view, but when you think about what it is that you're emotionally providing for your clients, your consumers, your target audience, this is the part where you start to really think about what it is that your brand offers. In the Nike example, they may be providing shoes and clothing, but in fact they're actually making pe people feel like they're winners. For magazines they provide stories and articles about what's going on in the world but for many it's actually about that feeling of escapism. So this is about how do we want our clients or consumers to feel about our brand. The next part is to think about our target audience. Now what are the values of our target audience? What are the things that we really need to understand about the people that we are trying to reach through our brand? So in this section we think about the values of the person that we're trying to target. Do they value being empowered? Do they value being respected? Do they value being uh, trendsetters? A lot of different ways to think about the type of person that we are targeting. Now the next step is to actually think about the personality of this brand. If this brand came to life, was a person, how would you describe them? When you think about a friend that represents the sorts of things that you want your brand to represent, how would you describe that person? So we look at the personality of your brand. Now the final stage in this process is actually to come up with your brand essence. We'll have gone through a fairly lengthy process of filling out the pyramid to date and it will actually give us some thinking around what is our core brand essence. We really want to come up with three key words that explain your brand essence and they could very well be words that have come up throughout the pyramid or they could be ones that summarise the actual process that in the words that you've come up with so far. Sometimes we get to three, sometimes we might have to extend it to four, but what we're really looking at is something that really summarises exactly the brand and what you stand for. So that's it, that's our brand pyramid. You can go to our website for more information about our branding tools or give us a call. Thanks again, we'll see you again next time at Essence.